What's up guys, welcome to my channel, the 2019 version. I am so excited that you're here because I have so many things planned for this year and it's gonna be a hell of a journey. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best results out of your DJI Mavic Air, your Mavic Pro, just drones in general. So stay tuned if you want to get some awesome footage. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of stuff coming in this 2019 year. It's going to be insane. I have a podcast coming and a whole bunch of other things. In this video, I wanna show you three ways to get the most out of your drone footage. You probably just got one for Christmas. Uh, your mom got it for you, or maybe your kids got it for you. Hey, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna show you how to get the best out of your drone. So starting with number three, you need to make sure your settings are in check. And here's how you do that. So you'll wanna work around with what you find best. I happen to find these settings to be the most natural. So I know that I'm going to be working with this in post, so I typically shoot in d -cine like as my color space setting. Shooting with the none setting is just a little bit too done for me. So d -cine like is gonna give you most likely more dynamic range and a little bit more room to work with in post, which is what you pretty much want. A big tip in framing, if you want to go to your settings on your video settings and go to grid and you want to put the grid lines on, that might help a little bit with your framing if you tend to have trouble with that. Settings include both image settings as well as just how you're going to fly the drone. If you just got your Mavic, I would recommend just keeping your drone in tripod mode for most of the time. Uh, the reaction speed is going to be far less, but it'll prevent you from making any sudden mistakes for the most part. In my opinion, I think that's a great feature to use when you're starting out. If you do shoot in tripod mode, then you don't have to worry too much about going to these advanced settings, but you will want to adjust your gimbal settings, which are down here. You could play with the gimbal pitch speed as much as you'd like. Find what works best for you. Uh, I find around this region it works best for me as long as you have your smoothness up and you are not just completely pushing the toggle to tilt the gimbal up and down you want to still hit it pretty gently and just get used to it that's the biggest point point. and you definitely want to have extend gimbal tilt limit on the second tip i had for you and one of the most important ones is definitely post-production work now there's a few things you want to do in post-production that are going to give you the best results from your drone make sure you are coloring your footage. Whether you're shooting in D-Log, which you obviously have to color, or you're just shooting in the standard default setting, you wanna make sure you are coloring your footage. There's a bunch of tutorials on how to color drone footage. I'm gonna link down below to some of the best ones out there, but you basically could probably purchase one of those standard LUTs just to get yourself to a good starting point. But make sure to color your footage because that's gonna get you better results than coming straight out of the drone. Next part of post-production would be add some kind of motion when you can. You know, there's sometimes you want to manipulate the footage to give you really cool effects. Maybe you want to add a zoom effect. Maybe you want to add one of those dolly zoom effects. Those are increasingly popular in drone footage and it's a really cool effect. If you can't do that, then just adding regular zooms will make your footage a little bit more active. Lastly, sometimes your drone isn't going to be perfectly stable. Maybe you're flying in slightly too windy of conditions. So what you want to do is add some post stabilization. That's going to give you some of your best results. And the last, but definitely not the least, actually, I consider this one of the most important reasons and uh, ways that you can get better footage. I strongly believe that if you are looking to get cinema grade and just high grade looking shots out of camera, you need to understand camera movement and composition, framing, all these things before you throw your camera up in the air with a drone. So before you start questioning why your shots aren't looking up to par to your standards, I would start by looking at some camera movement tutorials, which by the way, I am coming out with very soon. Link is going to be in the description down below. Make sure to check out for that because it's really gonna help you master those camera movement shots, which I believe is one of the most important parts about getting good drone footage. So if you made it this far, Congratulations, you are on your way to getting some mean and dope looking drone shots. Just make sure to follow those three things and I can almost guarantee that you will get better looking drone shots. And I wanna see them, so make sure you comment down below any drone footage or videos 
that you make with using the, applying these tips. I would love to see it. So make sure you comment down below. If you got anything out of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate your support and thank you for getting this far. 2019 has just started. I'm so excited. I've never been this motivated about a year. It's going to be an awesome year. I have so much content planned and I'm excited to help you guys out both with cameras and editing and many other things. So make sure to subscribe if you got anything out of this. Thank you so much for watching and take care.